Hey boys, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Today, I want to talk about Trial of Vagation, the new DLC that's coming up for Brazil, Argentina, Chile and Uruguay and Paraguay. Um, get my thoughts out, also predict some achievements because I have some problems with Hearts Fine 4 and also I want to make content out of, the, out of the new achievements so, because I'm just, yeah, I'm just crazy. So let's jump right into it with the Stolke Brazil. There's nothing really much in in this Stolke Brazil thing other than um, the balancing between the allies and the axes. Also there's like an icon for every uh, South American nation here now. I think this is the Monroe Doctrine. I'm not really sure but it also could be some balancing between Axis and allies, because they don't they don't show this right now. They they don't let they don't want you to know what it is right now. So first of all, Brazil, of course, you have the bus in the beginning. It's every day it's here now. Every nation's gonna get debuffed right now, and you have like probably two to three years of bull, like just fixing your entire economy, production, stability, your government etc etc which i don't know is is for me the least interesting tree right now of of the new the, uh, level diaries of i think chile and argentina one are way more interesting than this one so yeah um what can you note here i guess you have all of the south american nations they have the same army tree actually which is not that bad. I mean, it's kind of balancing this uh, South America now. But yeah. Also, yeah, new models, and then you have the focus tree here, and that's the new army tree that every South American nation gets. So let's try uh, jump right into Argentina because Brazil is just not that uh, interesting. I think the only thing I could predict as an achievement as Brazil. Probably take in Portugal some weird achievement that you like the Empire Strikes Back or something like that where you need to take uh, Portugal as Brazil. That's probably gonna happen and we're gonna see that probably also with Argentina and Chile they needing to take Spain or something like that. But let's jump right into Argentina because it's Argentina is kinda more interesting. You have your political corruption, so your country is also just completely destroyed, and you basically need to um, build it up for like two to three years. I don't, I don't like that though. I don't like the new, uh, new stuff uh, that you need to build up two to three years. I also don't like. I hope that they not, they not gonna make Brazil, Argentina actually too complicated. Staying simple because I think Brazil, especially Brazil, is like a beginning nation that people play when they start Hearts of Iron 4, playing Hearts of Iron 4. Other than that, you have to choose between allies and your own faction. This has every tree now, like in these uh, in this new DLC, like Argentina, Brazil, and Chile. I don't I don't know if Paraguay and Uruguay has. Uh, then you have your fastest branch, where you can support Spain, you can uh, go with Germany or Italy. Uh, but the fascist is actually pretty interesting because down here you can go for the South American unity. One thing I just want to <laughs> promote real quick is right now a vote going on on my, uh, my YouTube community tab. And you can vote here which video I should do next, which path. Which country I should do next and what mod. It's gonna go until Sunday, then I'm gonna close the vote. So if you're still interested, if you're interested to see any of these paths, go to community and vote for it. Anyways, let's jump into Chile. Chile, I think, is the most interesting nation of them all. The Prussian of, of South America. And right there, I think, is gonna be an achievement. Take Prussia as Chile. I know it's gonna <laughs> that sounds stupid, but listen, listen to me. I have 5.7k hours every achievement. Paradox is gonna do that. 100 percent I think so. If 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 I'm wrong here, then my bad, but yeah, I think so. 
let's go over agility now so your industry and stuff is again destroyed you you need to fix all of that you have different units i think these are special units i hope you can delete them because i hate units that you cannot delete or you need to do any focuses for like i need to do this army focus so i can delete a, a unit like the italy one italy focus three has these units that you cannot delete which i just hate they're just so annoying you're not gonna use them in your main army if you actually play serious so yeah then you have the three D models. You have like uh, the German variant one. These looks just like Soviets. I'm sorry, but they they look like Soviet. But yeah, the Focus Three is actually interesting. The most interesting than Lone Line Tree. We're gonna get to that and the Fascist Tree, I think. But the Communist Tree is actually also interesting. Like the Democratic one, Democracy is just way too bad in base. Hoi for they sh they need to buff that. I don't know. It's just not good you don't play democratic other than getting forced for an achievement for it the communist path is pretty interesting you can make the union of hispanic republics that's gonna be interesting i think that's gonna be also an achievement probably need to take everything in south america other than uh, brazil and uruguay probably because uh, these are uh, portuguese but yeah gonna be the union bro so Actually, a good focus for a communist tree. You also, yeah, you have this 70 day focus and you get cores on all, almost all of South America, right? I think it's gonna be cores on almost of all of South America. And you get claims on like uh, Central America. 70 days. The Mexican one, 210 days. So yeah, they should probably fix that. Okay, then you have the fascist path, which is actually interesting because you can restore the old kingdom down here which i'm pretty sure that's gonna be an achievement also you probably need to take spain and the old colonies of spain which is cool that would be full achievement i am i want to do that definitely i'm gonna hunt the achievements instantly if the dlc comes out so prepared for that i'm, I'm live streaming every day from like almost every day from Monday to Friday 8 p.m. CST on my Twitch. If you're interested, link down below. That's gonna be interesting. Restore the old kingdom. I really like this focus streets. I was like skeptic first. South America. <sighs> yeah, it's still gonna be a pain to fight in South America. But the focus streets seem pretty good actually. For 15 euros, it's actually a good deal. Um, I'm actually fine with that. Um, yeah. Then let's go down here, the Unite Hispanic Americas, I think that's just gonna be the communist path, just for fascist guys. And then you got to the non-aligned, the anti-imperialist crusade branch, which is so cool, I really love this. So basically in this branch, you liberate all the uh, native American kingdoms, empires, I don't know how to call them. And that's gonna be an achievement, you probably need to liberate all of them and that's... I'm actually hyped for that. I want to do this. Seems so cool. So you need to take a Chile. You're gonna play Chile and take over all of America, and then you will release um, these natives, Native American nations. Just gonna be so cool. I actually, I actually love that. Sh I actually love this. There was, I think, today or yesterday, this came out. It's just some little stuff. The Peru uh, Ecuador conflict, the historical. Or between Peru and Ecuador in the in World War II. That's nice. They, they made a little decision for it. That's cool. You have some new reformable formulas like the Peru, Bolivia, Guyana. I don't know who who wants to do this, but have fun. United Hispaniola, so you can unite uh, Dominion of Republic and Haiti. Also has uh, new releasables, Quebec. Catan and Rio Grande. Canada gets some little updates. <laughs> what I think about like these updates always for like Canada and stuff, they should probably just do like wo take one or two nations from a previous DLC, like the Vic Together for Victory, and should just rework them. Update Together for Victory, the DLC. I think that's be way better than just making like 
there's gonna be three more focus but these focuses don't matter so basically these three focuses are just there to take over new frontlets as when you go independent democratic but i don't think anyone wants to do that you have basically you going uh, state democrat you go independent state democratic and then you make a faction with america and then you can take new phone line cool i mean the buffs are kind of nice like this one 10 percent uh production costs for infantry equipment and stuff this one you get the population which is actually pretty good for canada nice here's a big one the amazon rework that's i don't know if i like this one you need to build many supply hubs in there if you actually want to fight in there i mean it's, it's gonna be easier because of the rivers uh, the river because of the rivers you don't need railways i think you can just place them then build your supply hubs but supply hubs are just so so costly you, you need you need like I don't know, three, two to three months to build one. Paraguay and Uruguay, Paraguay are. These are like Iceland focus trees. You also, they, they're they not ready yet. You, you see that? They're not really ready yet, so I cannot really comment on them. One thing about Peru and Paraguay. Um, yeah, here. Per, uh, Paraguay has like. Peru. Uruguay, I mean. Uh, Peru has now two states and they have, can have the civil war. The problem with this civil war, if the Ki. Does the civil war it's never gonna be finished why because this is this is all just forest and there's a river between them so this is gonna be painful i think as a player you even need to give them this province and hope that they hope you, you can, can pin them and just go around them and cap them and that's gonna be an achievement either as paraguay or Uruguay from south america i think that's gonna be one sorry for anyone who wants to do achievements but uh, these are my predictions like i think in this dlc there's gonna be a lot of formables and there's gonna be a lot of achievements where you need to do these formables which is not a bad idea right but i don't know if this is the thing you want to do that's everything i hope you enjoyed my little talk here i hope you enjoyed um here are some videos if you want to watch more content don't worry this is not gonna be this is not a main video it's gonna be a video soon a mod video soon again and yeah enjoy the rest of your day have a nice day click video i don't know uh, uh, yeah, bye bye